Hey everyone, it's John here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you three ways that you can get current and historic gold prices into Excel. Let's take a look. The first method we're gonna take a look at for getting gold prices into Excel is using the stocks data types. So in order to do this, I'm just gonna type the word gold into Excel, and then we're gonna convert this into a stock data type. So if we go up to the home tab, and click on the stocks data type, then that's gonna convert it into a stock data type. Now, this isn't the stock we want, so I'm gonna right click on this and go to data types and select change here, and that's gonna open up the data selector here, and I'm just gonna search for gold and press enter, and the stock data type we actually want here is this, so I'm gonna click on that, and select it. And now we've got a gold stock data type. And if I click on the icon here, then we can see the price and we can also extract that price to the grid. And now we've got the gold price in US dollars in Excel. The next method we're gonna take a look at is going to allow us to get historic gold prices into Excel. So if we have the gold stock data type, then we can use the stock history function in order to get historic prices. So the stock history function is going to take either a data type or a stock ticker. So let's give it the gold data type and then it's going to require a start date for our prices. So in this example, we're gonna use the today function and subtract 30 days to get a start date 30 days before today. And then we're going to give it an end date of today. And then this is going to give us a history of prices for the last 30 days. And when we press enter, the stock history function is going to return a list of dates from the last 30 days, along with the corresponding closing gold price for that date. The last method we're gonna take a look at for getting gold prices is using the Metal Price API. So this is a service that you can use for free in order to get gold prices. So you're just going to need to head to metalpriceapi.com and sign up to get your free API key. And then once you've got it, you can use this URL to call the service. And here, of course, you'll just replace your API key here. And so I'm just going to copy this URL. And we can use the web service function in order to call this URL. So inside quotation marks, I'm gonna paste that URL. And let's close the quotation marks. And here, I'm gonna replace this with my own API key. And to do that, I'm gonna concatenate it from a cell in Excel. So I've got my API key here. And let's close our web service function. And when we press enter, then that API service is going to return something that looks like this. And so you can see that the value that we want from this is listed right after USD. And so in order to parse this out, we're gonna use the text split function. On what our web service returns. And here we're gonna split based on two delimiters. So we're gonna put these two delimiters inside curly braces or inside an array. And so the first delimiter is going to be a colon as that's what precedes our value. And the next delimiter is going to be a comma as that's what's directly after our value that we want. And when we press enter, we get an array of values. And you can see that the ninth value or the ninth cell from our text split function is the value that we want. And so we can get that 
on its own with the index function. So here we're going to use the index function on our spilled array from our text split function. And that's in the first row. And we want the value in the ninth column. And that's going to give us our value on its own. And now this is actually a text value. So I'm just going to multiply by one to convert it to a number. And now we've got the gold price from our metal price API. Now you can of course create a formula that's going to do this all in one step. So here we've got the same formula in one cell. So you can see that I've used a let function here in order to call the web service, then use the text split function, and then get the individual value for our gold price. And then that's what our let function is returning. So there you go. That's three ways that you can get gold prices in Excel. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. That's it for this video and we'll see you in the next one.